What up everyone, I'm back with another update for Aurorax Remastered. You may know it as Aurorax Outpost of Civilization or an entire continent Aurorax. Now my game freezes a little bit here at the beginning. I don't have a fast computer guys. I do need help in this arena if you guys can donate I would really appreciate it. I appreciate you so much. So let's continue along here. Again I started the zombie invasion in this update version 3.3. That started. I've added the only castle jumping area ever implemented ever, right? What else do I got? <laughs> I added a lot of stuff in this one, guys. Like, uh, even a hangout for the temple raklings you may have seen getting just massacred at Goblin Alley. You'll see more in that of that in the future. Check out my Modest Mini Series, which I'm constantly working on even now you will see some of the new mod list for the second season of the mod list mini series you're gonna see a little bit of that it's turning out to be fucking awesome subscribe now so you can actually you know stay up to date on that so we're outside castle dubrock right now and there's a zombie here as you can see the first zombie you'll see in the video and he just got taken out by a 47 arrow. Part of my 47 arrows modification. I am using the Daedric Fire Scrum. Let me break out some glass flares. So I can better show you the area. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge area, so it's going to be hard to see either way. But I'll actually take you up close to all of these constructs. I have uh, just D Dwemer. You know, constructs as well as advanced magicka areas, which is gonna be an underlying theme. But yeah, it's looking really great. It's fucking amazing, and it's a lot of fun to actually explore. This is the cliff jumping area. Yeah, with the fast travel system there. It's a crook system, as you can tell here. So we'll actually, uh, take you back up to the point after you jump off. Yep, this is all handmade. Yours truly. Check out datadesigns.webs.com for more. Alright, so this is Rayomi Lake I just jumped into. You're gonna see a whole lot more coming here including an island and a cave. In the very least. So let's go ahead and teleport back up. I'll show you how to teleport down here without having to jump off if you don't want to. I don't know why the hell you wouldn't want to, but... Alright, anyways. Yeah, this is a crypt system. Now the other crux takes you to... Gardenthal. To the new staff enchanting area. And this video was brought to you by Dataforex. Find them at dataforex.webs.com for the latest information. A new Twitter is up soon at dataforex. Make sure to follow at data designs and at data media. You can always find me at data designs on Twitter. Constantly posting stuff. So yeah, this is the enchanting area. It's really cool. It's just above the Temple Raklings mushroom hangout. You may have seen the Telvani neighborhood sprouting uh, to your right when you enter Aurorax through Low and Hole. Always, uh, <coughs> make sure to stay up to date on Data. That's me, MC Data the Rapper. So, yeah, very beautiful landscape here with very beautiful lighting, etc. Thanks to the new mod list. Again, I'm using Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix. Free download. 
installation instruction videos are also up on my YouTube as well as graphical videos so you can see more of what that looks like. However, this whole video was made with Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix. Very popular modification. And this is Autorex. You may have seen the little raklings back there. I've added access to this area as well as many other areas, including towers in Castle Dubrock. So there's a little enchanting area up here as well. A whole lot. A lot has been added, there's always attention to detail. So this portal takes you to an easter egg hunt, which I've said for you guys in this update. It doesn't take you to Boethia's dungeon yet. Don't worry, that's still in the works and is coming. So let's head out to Garden Thaw right now. Okay, and again, easter eggs are everywhere. And you're gonna continue to see them like here right here that is my signature it's not in all my models but I do incorporate them in a lot of them just a big clam a little clam next to each other usually some nice flora or something is around them we uh, pick up your pearls So the unruly building is where people usually stay when they first arrive in Autorex. And you can leave your stuff here, use the containers, your stuff's not gonna go anywhere. So yeah, this is the building on the top floor. I have added a fast travel book to get you to Castle Dubrock. Don't tell anyone. And again, you can watch the instructional video for Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix online. It is a part of my channel. You can find them in my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, it makes it very easy to actually implement my fix. I'm also using the Twins of Din, which you'll find on the Steam Workshop, MyDB, and Skyrim Forge. As you can tell, the shadows look beautiful. And more than likely, you're going to see a connection between Twins of Din and the Unruly Building. You might see them pop up from there from time to time when you dismiss them. Again, using Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix. Shadow Strapping Fix. Video up for that, as well as Ram Limit Remover on my channel. So subscribe if you haven't. Like and share all our stuff. It really helps the channel out a lot and donate if you can. This is Joan of Vanguard, one of the new NPCs. Two girls and one guy has been added. To Castle Dubrock, they are all nobles. Merchants are coming soon. So she's watching the entrance as an initiate for the 47 organization. So this is where you'll usually find two NPCs that I have added. However, Ale is out on an excursion right now. Uh, he does never really tell anyone where he's going. And he just kind of leaves. Randomly appears. I've added a clue as to where he goes. Here's a cool storage facility that I've added. I'll show you the upper one. And you may have seen the dead zombies there. A little surprise for you at that cool storage facility. But yeah, Ale seems to disappear from time to time. And if you see him, you know, I'm pretty sure he's not going to say nothing <laughs> because there's no dialogue added yet to the NPCs, but uh, yeah, there's a clue, as I said, to what the fuck or where he goes, and uh, you'll see more in the next update. So that's the cold storage facility. Not a lot of food there right now for some reason. And uh, yeah, so we're taking care of the zombie invasion. Uh, or beginning to in this update. Warden Morlock. Morlock is coming soon. There's a reference to him in the note that is uh, stabbed onto that little divider. Let me show you the castle because it's huge. I don't think you guys realize how big it is. 
Ah, uh, it's, it's massive. It's, it's enormous. Giant. Look at it. The biggest building in Skyrim. And that's including everybody's mods. This is the biggest building in Skyrim. Hands down. Boom. Look at this. So yeah. <coughs> this is where zombies were trying to break into the castle looks like. More than likely from outside. And they will stop dead in their tracks. So yeah. Watch out for the zombie berserkers. Again, they are lethal. Most of the other zombies are pretty easy to take care of. Just clean them up, mop them up. Check out my other modifications. All top quality, top notch. High fidelity, you already know. All of them. So, I hope you're enjoying them if you're already using them. Let's go ahead and continue with the castle or Rex. Look at this. It's huge. Wow. <laughs> and I'm gonna add stuff to everything here. And then that little fireplace area is gonna get an update. We're talking, you know, a ballroom, a dining room, a massive kitchen. I'll show you, you know, some of the kitchens already here, but there's going to be more added. So, yeah. And remember, vampires eat here too, so you're going to see that as well. 47 organization actually works with vampires. And, you know, they have an understanding with the Dawn Guard, but there have been conflicts in the past because of the vampires here in Aurorax. So you're gonna see that in next up in in future updates. In the next updates I'll be adding <coughs> more on that. But yeah, so not everyone takes kindly to the vampire presence here. But they are friendly. So we'll go ahead and uh actually keep this up here. Continue along with the great addition and finish our Rex. so let's head upstairs right now to the top floor of the castle or to the roof I want to thank you guys for making my modifications popular <coughs> and for making us featured files everywhere that we go so yeah this is the outside area I will be twitch streaming soon god willing I ask for your help just join the crew yeah that I mean join the squadron 47 squadron it is my crew you always find me online as they did the destroyer subscribe now to stay up to date and add me if you see me online. Because I'm always playing, and if not, I'm working on this damn castle. Yeah. Again, it's huge. So I ask for your continued support, please. And for your donations to help me. You know, stay <coughs> in the running for the new games and stuff that are coming out. And, and to get a better frame rate on what I'm showing you guys now, like I said, there were actually audio issues in this video because of my setup. So I apologize for that. I did the best I could, and I did try to resolve them. However, <coughs> that was not possible. Take you guys up to the roof. I've actually added Jakir's burial site, his uh, tomb, to the roof, which you'll see here.
so he was buried here. You're gonna have an opportunity to meet him as part of the main quest line and his wife Raomi. Raomi actually was not buried here in Orax. She left and was never seen again. So nobody knows what happened to her. You know, there have been reports of people that have seen her after Jacques' death, you know. But they are strange because they have been you know, reported recently even. So yeah, people think she's still alive. Jack here is dead. And uh oh snap, I'm about to fall off. <laughs> Wait, this is the upper area here. This is where uh the so called hyperbolic time chamber area will be added. It's gonna be really cool, really dope feature. I'm not really gonna tell you guys a whole lot right now. Wait, I'm about to fall off. Nah. Let me go ahead and actually uh I'm gonna I'm just use the door and teleport down but yeah <laughs> so you can uh, through the little door the advanced magic uh, portal that I've opened here you can uh, teleport straight up to the top it's very high so don't fall <laughs> but uh, yeah right now the two portals are just connected to each other but in the future I'll update that I just wanted I wanted to illustrate that, you know, there was going to be additions made. I know it's not the best illustration, but, uh... Anyways, let's go ahead and continue along here. You're gonna see uh, a really advanced merchant added to that advanced magicka area. There's also gonna be a dragon defense added to that other tower. And this is the watchtower right here, a control tower for the Dwemer uh, generator. And the AC system, etc. that is going to be seen in Castle Dubrock. This is where Ale likes to hang out. Hint, hint. But, uh... Yes, so as you can see, no expenses spared with 47 organization every log in that bridge is a fucking entire tree <laughs> oh yeah check that out yes this is the AC and levitation system yes for these special portals up here. It's kind of like a lookout, you know, for Rex. This tower up here. You're gonna see some very advanced NPCs here, kind of like the Greybeards. So you can expect that in future updates, as well as zombie invasions. You can see I've added tower access here. Little details everywhere, such as these archery targets. And more, like I've even added a ladder <laughs> up here, you know. This is the little dwarven ruins area, or dwarven temple. This is the cliff jumping area, you already know. So yeah, way more in the works, way more going to be added. This is the little taste. satisfy you guys and yeah this is where everybody eats right here vampires eat up on the roof for the most part <laughs> and everybody else eats in here so yeah <coughs> this entire area is gonna be extremely wealthy for the most part, even Garden Thal and the new city, Morgenstedt, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot, a lot added. The new city, uh, Morgenstedt, is gonna be a bigger city, it's gonna be more of a city rather than a town.
Heroes, not all of them are lethal. Some of them are just Havocs. Uh, physics based. Like the Frozers and the Pushers. These are the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the Jumpers. The jumpers. Which we'll see updates in RRX. There's, uh, this is where the 47 arrows are made, so you're gonna see another merchant selling them, of course, in the warehouse, but the person making them has actually perfected a more powerful version of the Dorm Push Jumpers. You're also gonna find those sold cheaper, because the form these are the, these are the, uh, deadly auto whispers from the 47 arrows. These are lethal, you can use these to kill zombies. So you can see here. <laughs> they are very powerful arrows. However, they're also expensive and like I was saying, you will find them sold cheaper on the black market. So uh, it, there will be a merchant selling those. They're not as good because the guy makes them himself, like I'm saying, somebody leaked the recipe or whatever. I mean everybody pretty much knows it's the apprentice, you know, but nobody really cares. Uh, anyway, like I said, the uh, the actual guy that makes them selling more powerful versions. Uh, you will probably see a trend here in the future, but for now it is just the jumpers. Some more powerful versions available, as well as uh, wholesale buying options. Oh, let me get the hell <coughs> out of here. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, next update. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I really hope I didn't forget anything. But yeah, so three new NPCs, a shiz ton of new areas, a bunch of stuff. And uh, I want to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Check out my modifications, leave some comments below. And yeah, so that's, this is the crux to get back. Usually if you teleport using the crux system in Realme Lake, there will be a crux to get back, so. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. So stay in tune. doing something online <coughs> and I do have a $200 special on websites with up to three pages going on right now on datadesigns.webs.com check that out there's a blacksmith See you guys in the next video. More updates soon.